Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Nightmare Collection Telephone Call. And if you want to receive a telephone call, the links and the details are down below in the description. You might want to think twice about that, because I think in this game we're going to be receiving a very strange telephone call during a party. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end. Let's begin, shall we? New game. Here we are then. Afternoon. Afternoon yourself. Ah, okay. So, as I understand it, I'm going to be playing as a girl called Sydney, and Sydney has a party to plan. And Sydney's waking up pretty late by the looks of it. Shit! Damn! It's already noon and I overslept again! My parents were supposed to leave this morning. So they left me for the whole weekends! <laughs> and that means there will be a great party tonight. Well, that's the idea. Whether that happens or not, I'm not sure. But here we are, in control. Okay. Really high mouse sensitivity. Unfortunately, it seems you can't change that. Wait. Was that my stomach? <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to eat something first before I can start my day. So what am I doing up here? I should probably go downstairs and try and find the kitchen, right? Go get something to eat. Go get some cereal, some toast, some... I don't know, something. Or maybe a slice of pizza! There you go! No? No, oh, no. <laughs> not even when I step on the black sack. And I don't want anything out of there. Um, okay, here we go, hang on. Oh! Oh, I'll have some pizza from the fridge! And a whole chicken! <laughs> and gallons of milk! A pie! What? Just, yeah, eat it all! Including a glass bottle. How's that? You good? But you still don't want to touch this, apparently. Right. Nothing in the freezer? No? <laughs> Do we want something to drink as well? I mean, well, to be honest, we did just eat two glass bottles of Coke. I guess that will count, right? Right, yeah, we're going to be receiving a phone call. Seems like I can't make any at the moment. Okay. Alright, is this going to be somewhere to hide, maybe? Seems like it fits the bill. Here's the front door. Any murderers out here? Doesn't seem like it, thankfully. Oh, okay. Invisible barrier right here, so I guess there's no running to safety if anything goes wrong. Right, yeah, okay. So, what now? I mean, am I still hungry? Do I... <laughs> I actually don't know. Uh, let's just explore the place, I suppose, right? See what's what. Seems like we can't use the loot. That's a shame. Okay. What have we got through here? Uh, Alright. Oh, this is the garage, is it? Oh, fantastic. Okay, good stuff. Alright. And then this way? That will lead out to the back garden. Oh, very nice. It seems like it's a, a terribly cloudy day, but it's still nice and bright, oddly. Um, okay. Let's see then. Right. Hidden around there, we get the brushes, the brooms, the mops, the buckets, the sacks. Yep. Sorry, am I am I actually still hungry? Because, I don't know, I just figured you'd probably tell me what to do next after I've eaten the entire house. You know? Maybe I need to go back up here. Maybe I need to continue exploring. Maybe there's going to be, you know, more delicacies to put in my mouth. Who knows? Who knows? So, we've got another bedroom over here. Alright. Mm hmm okay. So, yeah, it's just me home alone, by the looks of it. Alright. Uh, on the one hand, I shouldn't be in this room, because it's my parents' bedroom. But, on the other, no one would know if I didn't break anything. Right. Have you got... Parents that are that strict that they won't allow you to go into their bedroom? What are they hiding in here? What what debauchery are they hiding in here? This door is locked, and I don't know where my parents put the key. I dread to think. What about this one? This door's also locked, and I also don't know where the parents put the key. Okay, fine, fine. 
yeah, okay. So, you know, I've got a lay of the land. I think I I think I know what's up. So Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Okay. What? <laughs> so let's start with Mia. She's my best friend after all. What a party without her. Okay, so that was take two. I restarted the game thinking that was a bug. Maybe, you know, I bugged the game out eating the entire fridge. No, apparently you need to eat the entire fridge. But now it seems like the game is moving on and maybe now I can call Mia. Right, okay. <laughs> silly game. Silly, silly game. I'm full to bursting, surely. How can I even speak? Hello? Mia, do you remember what day it is today? Of course I do. I've even cancelled all my appointments for today. Oh. As you know, I can't live without hanging out with you. Oh. We'll come by 6pm tonight. Okay. Oh, Sydney? Yes? Can I bring Victor with me? Sure, he's your boyfriend. Alright, see you later then. Bye! Okay, so Mia and Victor are coming, are they? Exactly, yeah, they're going to be coming at 6pm. It remains to call Jamal, okay. We always call him the King of Parties. I probably should ask him to invite more people to the party. Okay. So we're just going to call him up right now? Okay, seems like it. Hello? Are you there? Jamal here. What can I do for you? Hey, it's me, Sydney. Spelt differently for some reason. Come to our party this evening at 6pm. Will there be a booze? <laughs> Hopefully there's going to be many a booze. Well, I haven't thought about it yet. Oh, okay. Yo! Deal with this issue and I'll think whether to come or no. Okay, I'll deal with it. Can you call someone else? You have so many friends. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. See you tonight, Sydney. Okay. I need to prepare for the party. It's very messy here. First, I need to clean all these garbage bags. And then I can go to the nearest shop for a booze. Or many Dispose of all the garbage bags. Right, I have I have seen a couple, actually. There's one down here. And there was... Well, unless we put it straight in here. No. No, I think there was a, there was a bin out the front, wasn't there? I think that's probably where we need to, to put this stuff. Okay. Yep. That is the shallowest bin I think I've ever seen. Uh, okay, I think I saw another one down here. Maybe one upstairs. Let's see. Let's see... Was there one around? Yeah, there was one around here. That's it. Okay. Um, there's one in one of the bedrooms, I think. Not my parents' room. Maybe my room or the other one, the spare one. I don't know if it's a spare one, actually. Maybe it's for, like, a, a brother or a sister I don't know about. Hmm. Okay. Let's see... So... Oh, there's one in the bathroom as well. Okay. I might be able to pick them all up at once, I'm not sure. But hey, you know what? I've started like this, so I'm going to finish like this. Alright, are we looking at one more? I can only think of maybe one more. Unless I've missed something. I don't know. I did walk around the house quite a lot when I was uh, just waiting for the next sequence to happen, you know? There, there we go, there we go. Okay. Right, I think this is going to be the last one. Uh, and then hopefully, the game will tell me what to do next. <laughs> well, it will probably tell me to go to the shop and go get a booze, right? Are we still not done? Maybe there's another bag, or maybe there's another two bags. Okay, the search continues. <laughs> What's this doing out here? Camouflage by the tree trunk. What's this filled with leaves? Seems like a strange place to leave it, but yeah, okay, fine. Let's just go up the side of the house here. 
Is this the last one? I hope it's the last one, because, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of ideas, honestly. Yeah, okay, cool. Phew. The last thing I have to do is go to the store for alcohol. That's right. It's worth checking my parents' room for a car key. Oh, I see. So we're gonna... We're gonna take their car, are we? Hmm. So they're away for the weekend. They didn't take their car. Fair enough. wonder where they are. Right. I do wonder if we're gonna be able to find the key to get into these two rooms as well. I'm very curious about the parents. This, ah, that's it. Okay. There you go. Okay, I've got the car key. Am I going to crash going to the shop? I wonder. Uh, you know, it's a horror game. Things are going to end in disaster in some way, shape, or form, right? Alright. I am ready to leave. As I leave every single door in the house wide open. Yeah, okay. This isn't going to end well. I didn't hear a crash. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. It's the evening. Brilliant. Okay. So, about 6pm? Are we waiting for people to arrive? Oh, Mia's here. Fuck! Why did I drink that much? No, 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 no! Doesn't sound like she's having a, a great time in there. Holy shit. What did just happen there? <laughs> I don't know. Shit. I knew that it was a bad idea to mix vodka with tequila. Oh boy. Hey, Sydney, are you there? Just give me some time. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. I need to find Jamal. He's guilty of what happened. Oh, he mixed the drinks up, did he? Right. I think I shouldn't bother Mia right now. Yeah. Okay, so the party's in full swing, I guess. Alright. Hey! How's it going? Who are you? Not a clue. Oh, we got more pizza! Brilliant! More pizza that I can't eat, although, let's be honest, I don't think I need to eat after the haul that I put down my throat earlier. Got a couple more people around here, by the looks of it. Hi! Jamal? No? Okay. Well, this is weird. Um... <laughs> That's Carl Casey, I think, right? He does the music for most of the 616 games, and to be honest, this does kind of resemble a game by 616, doesn't it? Oh, there's two more people out here. Hi. Oh, oh, it's you, okay. What have you done with Mia? What? I didn't know that she would puke. I am fucking hate you, Jamal! <laughs> Yo, chill, stop being such a bitch! Okay. Hey, Sydney! Oh, this is her boyfriend. What? I know now is not the best time, but... Can you take more booze from Garage, please? <laughs> okay. As my the only one best friend at this party is in the bathroom right now and puking in my toilet. Oh my god, this is hard to read. I don't know what to do without her. Thanks. Right, so you want more booze. And how can they drink that much? <laughs> well, how can you eat that much? I think that's the more pertinent question here. Right, okay, so... There's gonna be booze here somewhere? Alright, here we go. Here we go. That wasn't there before. Found it! Okay, another crate of beer. Right, let's see. Let's go out this way, I think. Would you like one? No? No? Okay. What about you, whoever the fuck you are? No, oh, guess not. This is the worst party in the fucking world. And you know what? The phone hasn't even rung yet. Right, here you go. Just put the crate on the table. When you will find it. What? Uh, well the one in here? It's a little bit full. Uh, what about over here? Okay, there you go. Right. Anything else, Victor? Thanks, Sydney. 
I haven't seen Mia for a long time. Is she alright? Yeah, I'll check her. He is her boyfriend. Why should I do all this? But he just offered. Did you just offer, but it said it was him? My fucking brain is about to explode, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go check on Mia. She should still be upstairs somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, of course she's here. Is everything okay? Yeah. I need more time, she says. Ooh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Poor Mia. I need to talk with Jamal again. Okay. Is he out the back? No one's no one's talking really, no one's doing anything. It's just weird and Yeah, they're just pontificating, sure. Jamal. Why are you always trying to get my friends drunk? Whoa, lady! Calm down! Stop doing these! <laughs> you know what, Sydney? Fuck you. And fuck this party. I don't want a party here anymore. Now I can see that. Turn this fucking music off! Ooh. They did. Oh, okay. What's he gonna do? Is he leaving? Is he gonna start a fight? Is he gonna trash the place? I, mm. Okay. Well, he's left. So that's good, I guess. Hey, don't worry. I know Jamal. He's always so short-tempered. Really? I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back tomorrow with an apology. Well, I really hope so. Relax. You'd better have a beer. You just brought it recently. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm I'm off to get a beer, am I? I'm off to get inebriated when there's going to be some like real threat sooner or later. Cool, sounds good. Yeah, I'll grab one of these. There is nothing better than a cool beer. Yeah, you're right. Why didn't you put them in the fridge? I can't open it anymore, but there's nothing in there. <laughs> right. Let's, uh... Let's go see. Jamal, you out there? Hmm. It seems like he's gone. Unless I'm mistaken. Probably for the best. Yeah, he was, uh, he was in a bit of a mood, wasn't he? Right, so... Are you leaving with him? No? There might be nothing better than a cool beer, but there's nothing worse than being at a house party where you don't know anyone. And especially if it's your own house party and all your friends have gone, and it's their friends left. Then it's fucking weird. Right, I'm gonna go check on Mia, I think. No? No, I, I can't even check on Mia now. Okay. <laughs> I've just given up on my friend. Okay, do I want another beer, maybe? Or maybe I should go and talk to Victor again? I can't take another one. Excuse me, whoever the fuck you are. Right. Do you want to come inside? There's no one to talk to you now. N no? Okay. Weirdo. Right. Oh, oh, here we go. You know what? If this is like a death threat or something, it's going to be an improvement on the night. Hello, some unknown man says. Hello? Yes? Uh... What number is this? What number are you trying to reach? Sir? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. What if I... Oh. I just cut him off, did I? What a weirdo. Right. Hmm. Is that going to be the only phone call that I get? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be over quite that quickly. Right. Can I not have any of this pizza? It actually looks pretty good. Oh, there we go. I wonder who it's going to be. Is it Jamal with an apology? Or is it someone else? 
Hello? I I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. So, why'd you dial it again? To apologise. You're forgiven. Bye now. I want to talk to you for a second. Why don't you want to talk to me? Hmm. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favourite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. Um, Scream. Yeah, I thought you might say that. What's yours? Yes. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Is that the one with the guy that has knives for fingers? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. I like that movie. It was scary. But I'm afraid of blood. So, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> Why? You want to ask me out on a date? Maybe. So, do you have a boyfriend? Mm, no. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? So I know who I'm looking at. Okay, alright, yeah. It is very scream-like, isn't it? Look, I I've got to go. Don't hang up on me. Oh, that's exactly what I just did. Shit, who was that? Is it Jamal pranking us? I need to tell about him to Victor. Right, yes, Victor, Victor. Uh, I don't actually know if it's safe. Although there's lots of people at the party still, you know, it, it should be safe. Right? Who was it? I don't know. Some weird man. He said he was watching us. Is it really someone from this party? Sydney, calm down. I'm sure it was Jamal. Most likely playing a prank on us. I'm going to check Mia. It's been too long. And I recommend you have a beer. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, he's off to check on his girlfriend. There we go. He finally figures out the sliding door. I'm going to get another beer. Yeah, okay. And hope the phone doesn't ring again. Maybe I should go with him, actually. I don't know. Maybe I should go and check on Mia. I'm curious. Okay. Well, I can't check on her. Can you? No? You're just going to stand here? Fair enough. You do you, man. You do you. Okay. So, uh, for the fifth time, how's it going? My name's Sydney. What's yours? No? No one wants to talk. What about you? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least this guy wants to fucking talk with me. Hello? Heh. <laughs> oh. Oh. This asshole cut the electricity off! I'll need to check out the f <laughs> The fuse box. Wait, where's the fuse box? I don't remember seeing a fuse box. Oh, fuck, I can't see anything in this dark. Hmm. Well, I can see... I can see enough. And apparently so can they. They're, well, actually, that's kind of worrying. They're all looking at me now. You two? Yeah. He didn't even want to look at me before. What the fuck? Still can't talk to you, though. Right. I guess the fuse box is probably going to be in the garage somewhere. Uh, I don't think so, though. Is that it? No, no, that's just like tools and stuff, isn't it? And keys and stuff. Uh, oh. Let's see. Is it going to be outside somewhere? don't really want to go outside. Is it this? Was this even here before? It looks like the fuse has burned out. Oh, okay. And why is all this happening during a party? Hmm. I'm sure there should definitely be a new one in the garage. Oh, okay, so we're going to find a new fuse in the garage. All right, right. Uh, everyone's still looking at me. Not too suspicious, considering the circumstances, I suppose. Wait, is that what that is? Again, was that there before? <laughs> I don't think that was there during the afternoon, at least. Hmm. I guess I'm not complaining, right. Alright, let's put it in. There you go, okay. Oh, hello. 
Sorry, was that meant to scare me? I... <laughs> Shit. Don't scare me like that ever again! Hmm. Okay. Really? The next day? Oh, hang on. Actually, wait. There's someone underneath that apple tree. What? Yeah. Who? Who was that? I don't know if he was at the party. Right, we're standing in front of the toilet. Has Mia come out? Or has she just, like, shat herself to death? I genuinely have no idea. Right. Okay. Uh, well, let's go down and, and let's see the damage, I suppose. Anyone passed out on the sofa? Still beer bottles and stuff around. No more weird phone calls, I hope. I am somewhat alarmed that there's someone, like, on that side of the house. But I don't want to go outside. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's actually keeping me safe. What about the garage? I can't even go in the garage. Right. Okay, something's going on here. Something's definitely going on. Okay. We go out the front. It's better to... It's better to stay at home. This freak is somewhere nearby. Yeah, he is. He's not far away at all. And it looks like he might be calling you. It seems someone had a good time yesterday. Listen, asshole. No, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish. You understand? <laughs> I am two seconds away from calling the police. They'd never make it in time. We're in the middle of nowhere. What do you want? To see what your insides look like. Where are you? Fuck. Call the police. I don't care. Call the police. Okay, I can't. So what can I do? Hmm. I think I'm just going to see him lurking around, you know? Maybe I should stay away from the windows as I go as close as I possibly can to the windows. <laughs> Oh, that, that, there he is. This is the guy, isn't it? Who are you? Right. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't open the door. But I am kind of curious. Hello, darling. <laughs> you know what? I... Oh, and that's it, is it? Okay, I think there are meant to be multiple endings to this game. Clearly that was a bad one. Let's go back in and let's try and do something a little bit more sensible. Here he comes again. I don't know how he's sort of psychically knocking like that, but this time I'm not going to open the door. You hear that? You get... Right. I don't know exactly what I should do, though. Maybe just, like, hide? Is he going to give up at some point? Maybe there's something I, I need to do. Call the police. Honestly. I can't. It's weird. Uh, have a few more drinks? <laughs> no. Oh, is he giving up? Hold on. Ah. Oh, and he's gone back around the side. So it's still not safe to, like, drive away or anything? Just, like, if I hop out of the front door, I think he's going to... I think he's going to get me again. Maybe he's going to approach from the back this time. I don't know. I don't know why I've put myself in this position and I don't want to call the police. It... Well, if I call the police, he can't call me, I suppose. So sad for your friends. To take Mia and Victor, for example. Only bones are left of them. Yeah. Maybe you'll be lucky, because I'm already somewhere nearby. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. Oh, oh, shit, okay. He actually might be. Uh, I didn't open the door, because I couldn't. Fuck. He's really somewhere here. I need to find knife. <laughs> okay, somewhere in the kitchen, presumably? I think I actually did see a knife. Aha, yes, there is a knife there. 
I can defend myself with this. I need to call the police. Well, fucking finally, and then hide somewhere. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. I mean, better late than never, but it might be too late, honestly. Oh, dear. Come on. No response. No response, really? Oh, shit. Is he in the garage? Okay, I, I need to hide somewhere as soon as possible. There's a closet on the second floor. There is. Okay, and I've got about 30 seconds to get up there. Okay, it's in... this room? Yes! This one, I think. I assume. Hold on, let me just make sure that there isn't another closet. There is not. Okay. And I still can't get in the parents' bedroom, so... Yeah, no idea what they're hiding in there. Okay. So we just gotta wait this out, have we? If he opens the door, I'm gonna stab him in the eye. Okay? <laughs> and here we are. Oh, I can hear him. Here he comes. I should have hit by the front door. Oh boy. Here he comes. My heart's going, apparently. Oh, don't go that way! No! Mm, okay. Yeah, this was a terrible place to hide. Is he not going to check? I guess not? Hmm, I don't know if I'm buying it. He leaved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 don't, no. <laughs> I was trying to click through the text. Right, did he leave? Did he really leave? Right, well, I've got a knife. I can defend myself, right? He, he, hmm. I don't think he's on this floor anymore. I, I don't know what happened to Mia, honestly. I still cannot get in the bathroom. I don't know, that's like no man's land at this point. Right. What do I do? Do I just wait for the police? Still no response. Wait, he's back in the garage again? I need to hide somewhere as soon as possible. There's a closet on the second floor. What? I'm sorry, what? Was that a bug? I don't think I was meant to go through that again. And that's actually how it ends. So, there's no escape? It's either I open the front door and he gets me, or he comes inside and gets me later. Goodness gracious me. Okay, well, that was Telephone Call, the, the first of the Nightmare Collection. And that was a, a pretty bad mix of Scream, Fears to Fathom, 616 Games. It just rubbed me the wrong way. It needs a lot of work. It's a, it's a pretty cool premise, I guess. But yeah, execution needs a lot of work, um, as well as virtually everything else, honestly. It's almost a terrible indie horror game. It might be a terrible indie horror game. I don't know if I'm going to title it like that, but mm, yeah, it, it definitely needs a lot of work. It was quite fun to play, though, because a lot of the time I was taking the piss out of it, honestly. So yeah, if I took that away from it, would I like this very much? I don't think so. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another one very soon. So they left me for the whole weekends. <laughs> oh, I'll have some pizza from the fridge. And a whole chicken. <laughs> and gallons of milk. A pie. What? Just, yeah, eat it all. Hey, it's me, Sydney. Spelt differently for some reason. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. I am ready to leave. As I leave every single door in the house wide open. Yeah, okay, this isn't gonna end well. As my, the only one best friend at this party, is in the bathroom right now and puking in my toilet. Oh my god, this is hard to read. Would you like one?
No? No? Okay. What about you, whoever the fuck you are? No, guess not. Well, this is the worst party in the fucking world. And you know what? The phone hasn't even rung yet. Why do you want to know my name? So I know who I'm looking at. Okay, alright, yeah. My name's Sydney. What's yours? No, no one wants to talk. What about you? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least this guy wants to fucking talk with me. There you go, okay. Oh, hello. Sorry, was that meant to scare me? I <laughs> oh, hang on, actually, wait. There's someone underneath that apple tree. What? Yeah. Who, Who was that? Hello, darling. <laughs> I can defend myself with this. I need to call the police. Well, fucking finally! There's a closet on the second floor. What? I'm sorry, what? Was that a bug? 